In some cases, people just load the file and wonder how to start. Let's take a look at this example. This is a wheel, I'll put it on top view. And the question is how, what to do. So let's explore a bit. If I just use mesh selection and select this part, it's actually a revolved surface. There is a one profile here which is revolved. And then we have uh, different elements which are here, which are repeated. So maybe we'll just build only one and then create a circular pattern and the same will be here. So I will start here and press OK. And now I will just create a 2D sketch. For me, it needs to be a revolved surface like this one. It goes and makes a single section through the selection. Of course, I want to get all the data to get a better representation for my profile. And I use the stack section. And as you see, we get the full profile now. We can play with the numbers here, extract even more, 100 and you can get better representation i press ok so this is my profile because this is a badly shaped or deformed we don't get them very close but it's good enough for us to build the profile for to shorten the demonstration i will just uh, show you how i built this revolved surface so this let's say this is my profile freeform then maybe I will just go and with the mesh selection take this one and fit a sphere here. And this is my sphere which I will trim with a revolved surface later. And the next step would be what about this element here? Well in this case I would use a freeform where you can just start and draw your a quad surface here, approximate, etc. So I build this also and it's here. So once we have these elements, what I can do is just create a pattern. In our case it's uh, 16. I press preview. And when we have the pattern ready, I can press OK. Get the revolved surface. And when I select them, I can actually start my trimming process. Select. We can hide the mesh and actually start clicking which parts to be removed. I hope this was useful. Thank you.